Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good morning, Caroline Caverna. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for joining me here live on KKVI FM Radio in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. Of course. Thank you for having me. Well, you, you're fascinating. I wanted to talk with you or the, in the job you're doing currently on Lifetime's new series, Mary Kills People. I, I'd really love to know more about this. I, I've looked at the promos. It is a fascinating series. <laughs> Yeah, Mary is an ER doctor who also has this side business where she helps people who are terminally, terminally ill, sorry, uh, put an end to their lives with dignity. And so she's doing this with her partner in crime who's also uh, a recovering heroin addict, and they have this amazing banter. And so the show is very interesting because it's set in the morally gray world of assisted dying, Yet it is entertaining, being a TV show, and there are elements of comedy also on the show. And so for an actress, it's a bit of a dream come true, as you can imagine, because there are so many layers to play with. And she's a very strong female character. She's flawed. She's compassionate. She's a mother of two also. So she's leading this double life. She, of course, can't really share what she's doing with um, everyone in her life. And so um, she's trying to juggle all that and make it work. And her daughters are going through a lot. Her teenage daughter is discovering her own sexuality. So a lot happens. It's a really cool show. The writer, Tara Armstrong, is a young writer. It's her first television series. So I, I really admire her. The writing is brilliant. And it's a joy to be part of the show. When you talk about the character... Uh... I always try to find out. We know it's entertainment, but what is here for us as the viewer? Meaning, you know, we haven't heard about Dr. Death since Dr. Kaborkin, but we never saw his personal life. Right. This is what makes, yeah, this is what makes Mary Skill uh, people uh, interesting because I, 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 we see these kind of people in the news in all kinds of ways. Yeah. But, but how do you... Balance, I guess there is no balance, but how do you balance being a human being with something that we abhor as human beings? Well, I think it's coming from a beautiful place in her heart. She's trying to help people who are suffering, who are desperate to die. And she's helping people by day at the hospital to live, and she's also helping people who have chosen as their final decision to pass and to end the suffering. And so... Of course, it's a very fragile and sensitive subject matter for a lot of people, and maybe it's a good opportunity to, um, I guess, explore this subject matter and have conversations about it and talk about it. And that's exactly what happened when my friends back home came over for the first, uh, the screening of the first episode in Canada. It aired a little earlier on in the year. And when we turned off the television, we naturally started talking about it. And I thought, you know, if this can happen in many households, across the world, then fantastic. It's an interesting uh, concept to bring to television. So, you know, you've got an audience. I hope you can hold us because uh, it's a hard subject to think about. It, it really it is, is. But, you know, the writer was talking about why she came up with this idea. She said, I really wish we could talk about death more often because it's not... because you accept it in your life that your life is over. I think... 
it can even help you celebrate life even more. Like after going to a funeral, you realize how lucky you are to be alive and how short life is and gives you the need to, to go hug your friends and have a drink and, and, and feel alive. And that sh the show has that energy for sure. Yeah. Well, we're still remembering you as Dr. Alana Bloom on NBC's Hannibal, so we're going to have to move on, I know. It's a very different show. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You were very good in that show. You were very, very good in that show. And Thank you. And a character, you know, with kind of hard puts, and we say, oh, we know her. Yeah. But I think you're going to do very, very well as transitioning. Uh, this is on Lifetime TV. When, when do you want my audience to tune in? April 23rd, Sundays at 10 p.m. We got something to watch on Sunday. Now you get to watch Caroline Daverna. You get to watch her do her thing, and she's very good at what she does. Thank Caroline, you. thank you so much. It's thank on you. Lifetime, Join by you. the way. I don't know if I mentioned it. <laughs> That's okay. We know where Lifetime is. That's our Wonderful. Show. Thank you. Thank you.